Yo, what's up guys? You got Poe Gamer today with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl OU Showdown Live featuring Manaphy. We actually have three different Manaphy teams. We have a Manaphy Non-Rain, we have a Manaphy Broken Rain, and then we have a Manaphy Hyper Offense. So, should be a lot of fun. Shout out to Ozma for the squads. If you guys want them, check out my website, pokemon.com. The link is down below. Now, I did hear from a little birdie that Drizzle is going to be banned really soon. So, this live is being recorded before that ends up happening. But I also heard that Manaphy is probably like top 5 broken mons in this tier. Now while I'm fighting it, it doesn't feel like that, however it does survive every hit, so it's like maybe it does feel like that, I'm just like not willing to accept it. But if you guys are enjoying these showdown lives, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, you're helping me out. I'm on my way to 300k, hopefully by the end of the year, that's a lot, but uh, I'm hopeful. And I'll be getting up some Wi-Fi battles super soon. So. The first team we're going to use is, we, we got to use Broken Rain, right? We have to use Broken Rain. Also, if you guys are going to be picking up Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, or want to pre-order Pokemon Legends Arceus, I do have these Best Buy affiliate links uh, down below. It does help me out support the channel, and if you are in the US and you plan on picking up the games anyway, I mean, if you use my links, you're helping me out. So, we have a Rain, well, we don't have Rain, but we have like <laughs> some kind of... Uh, anti-rain with kingdra but it doesn't really matter well they do have rain they have a pelipper what am i saying they get smashed by my mana fee so that's all that really matters in the first game also they get absolutely smashed by azumarill under rain so this should be extremely fun um i want to start off with jirachi because i want rocks up to break sturdy on the two sturdy mods and i doubt they go with like dawn fan versus me considering i have a pelipper but I could always go Pelipper anyway. And man, if you can just come in and click moves, it's going to be able to Tail Glow and beat the Blissey 1v1. So, and I have Ice Beam at plus 3, which will beat Toxicroak as well. I am slower than Toxicroak, but that still should be fine. So, they end up leading off a Pelipper themselves. I mean, I always appreciate Rain. Thank you. We, uh, we're actually going to go for Doom Desire first. The reason we're going for Doom Desire is because I want to go for Stealth Rock after in front of Dawn Fan. And if it wants to Rabbit Spin, I want to blow it up with that move. I don't think that Jirachi has the most use in this game, and uh, honestly, we're going to be depending on like Manaphy and stuff to be doing things, so get up Stealth Rock here after. I don't care if I get paralyzed or what ends up happening uh, at all, and what I can do is just U-turn. And it's time to bring out my Tail Glow Mon in front of this thing and not care. That's basically what happens, right? We have the hydration, we don't have to worry about status at all, Blissey took damage, ideally they have Damp Rock, so I have six turns to just wreak havoc, so... I am Energy Ball, I just realized that. Unfortunately, not Ice Beam. So it will make a little bit of a difference here. It will make a bit of a difference here, but we're gonna Tail Glow again. I want them not, hopefully they don't notice. Oh, that's a little bit annoying that they are, uh, they're not Damp Rock on their set. That's fine though. I think I still do too much to them. That's really annoying that their, their Pelipper isn't Damp Rock. Yeah, I do a million damage anyway, and plus, the, the second I bring this thing in on rain, I don't have to worry as well. I'm not going to lose to this. Well, maybe in this scenario I'd lose to this, but I'm not going to lose in general to this, I feel. I mm. like the idea of getting my Pelipper now and just simply U-turning. It just needs to be alive just to get up the rain to bring out my Mana Feet. And now, this is my rain, so I know my turns. Uh, if they go out into Kingdra, I will be able to live a Draco. I should be able to live a Draco. I'm going to calc this because I'm a Manaphy and I can rest off the damage. So I'm going to calc it real quick. I should be able to. I'll be really mad if I'm not because, I'm, like I said, I'm a Manaphy. Like, and I want to just use this Pokemon in the most broken form, which is just setting up and not caring about the opponent. I think that's the best way to use this Pokemon. So Manaphy... Kingdra, Choice Specs, Draco, yep, 81% max. I am at 82%, so nice. I eat the Draco up, and all we gotta do is rest off the damage right there. And we're gonna go for another Tail Glow here as they go for Outrage, which I'm able to eat up as well, which is pretty funny. Um, Kingdra is probably the only threat they have for... Dude, come on, man. Seriously. That's actually so annoying. Because Manaphy straight up won. So, like, they got lucky there. I would have rested and not cared, obviously. We're going to play rough here. And it sucks because now I'm a little bit worried about their Blissey plus Skarm core. That's so unlucky, man. That really is so unlucky. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that's so unlucky. Alright. 
we'll go you as they phase me on this one. I could easily have Thunder, so honestly, I'm not even sure if they stay in here, if they go that. At least we got to see, you know, the coolness of this mon, I suppose, right? I don't even have a rapid spin, like, switch, per se. I shot will Oko me. Doom Desire comes out this turn, so I'm just going to switch out into Kingdra here. Healing, I can still healing wish, so right, we'll go you SD up, I suppose. At this point, like, at this point, like, I already lost mana feed to stupidity, so hey, perfect. I'm assuming they go toxic, but I'm still gonna go for this. Perfect, go Garchomp on that. I'm gonna SD up in their face as they go Skarmory. Crit. Just give me a crit. Give me a crit. I deserve it. Crit won't even kill at that point. You know what? Let me SD again. I definitely deserve a crit. Come on, buddy. Give me Jirachi. We're going to Doom Desire here. Luckily, my opponent is still fearing me to go for... Uh, they're still fearing me to go for like basically anything there, right? Like, so I'm gonna U-turn here. The Skarmory comes out, and I'm gonna simply waterfall. I don't care if they go Toxic Croak right now because I have Doom Desire up. If they stay in, please flinch. Hell yeah! Okay, I can win this game. Let's go. Hell yeah! Deserved. <laughs> Let's get it. This guy doesn't have guys punch now. I'm just gonna go out into you. Eh. Let me sack Pelipper first as they go down, fan. Gonna use this just to click player off to break it sturdy. They could go hard toxic as well, but I'm gonna use this just to break Dawn Fan sturdy because it's Ice Shard plus potentially Sucker Punch are still annoying. And I have Healing Wish Garchomp, so I, I into Garchomp, so I should be okay, right? And I lowered their attack too. Let's go, baby. Deserved. I literally 6 0 with Manaphy, so I'll take it. I will gladly take it. Hell yeah. I'm glad. Justice is being served. Y'all smell that? that? That's that's justice in the air. Oof. Hell yeah. How dare you crit my mom that 6 0 you <laughs> while I'm setting up and not attacking and giving you opportunities to crit me. Hey, get that threat out of here. And I live too, which is fire. I ain't switching. I'm gonna click Swords Dance in their face because you don't get Ice Punch now. You don't get Ice Punch now. This is gonna miss if I go for it. <laughs> but I'm still gonna go for it. Heck yeah! Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Get out of my sight. Out of my sight, baby. You absolutely love to see it. You love to see it. Whew! All right, let's use the broken hyper off. But like again, and that's not, I was only upset because I'm trying to feature them on, and it just sucks that it got crit. Like you got, but you got to see how bulky Manaphy is, right? So basically, I would have taken the outrage. I would have waited for them to hit themselves in the fusion, and we would have been in such a strong position. All right, so they could easily lead off with Weavile here, but there's nothing that can actually kill me. They get smashed by my sub uh, Salak Berry Manaphy, which is really, really nice, and Gator with Hazards up too. So I'll go Azelf. Maybe they taught me, but I always go Espeon here. Actually. Let me get a Stealth Rock here, because if they double to Weavile, it's such a bad spot for me. I don't really care if they get up rocks. I'd rather be able to potentially get up rocks. And again, if they go Weavile, I'm in a bad spot. You know, exactly. So I didn't want to... If I went Espeon there, and, and they U-turned out into Weavile, it could be over. We're just going to explode here as they go for Throat Chop. They are Life Orb. I can bring right out my Blaziken. And I think just close combat in their face. I'm not going to Swords Dance in this position. That is a threat. They do miss, unfortunately, for me. Um, I didn't want to... I Basically, I didn't want them going hard Latios. 
and I want to be able to get damage off on them. So that's a threat with uh, priority, which I'm very happy is dead. Another mod I just want to weaken. Oh my god, and by weaken I mean do a million percent, right? Holy crap. So, bring out you, and uh, honestly click Reflect first, because they died to Stealth Rock, so... Reflect just so I can deal with Ralligator. I do have a Yawn as well, but I just want to make sure that I have this for Gator and for, for Lottie in the back. I Dragon Dance up with my Mon and win. They go for Outrage, which is whatever. Get off a of Psychic here. Uh, I should actually... Uh, <laughs> I am Haban Berry, so I can live one hit, and then Garchomp can kind of sweep. But... No, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'll, get up, uh, I'll just go for Psychic first. It's the best play for sure. Again, Latios is the only Mon that takes a hit from Manaphy at this point, so I just want, I want to get that reflect so I don't lose the Blaze again, but maybe, and I want to obviously be able to safely eat a hit from Garchomp, but maybe I should also have gotten up a Light Screen this turn. We'll see if it ends up being my downfall here. All right, we'll get up a Light Screen now. As they go for Yawn, and I'm assuming they're gonna U-turn now, so. I'm going to go for Psychic on whatever comes in. Because uh, damage on Gator and damage on Blaziken basically stops the light screen in a sense. And then I can go for Yawn again. So it's like the same exact thing. What I'm assuming actually happens here is that they yeah, go Lottie. I'm good with just a little bit of chip on Lottie. Maybe they go back up to Azelf here. I'm going to Yawn either way. Get some little bit of chip. Hmm... I'm gonna keep this guy alive because I think I can uh, get up a light uh, reflect again and I can live their hit. They might explode too, but I think U-turn would be better. Yep. And I live a Draco from Lottie. Because I'm a Bomberry. I think the play is just to go for Earthquake there. As they drag this up. Foes light screen. Going to sack Espeon. Force them to KO me. Their light screen's gone, which is what I wanted. I should be able to live a crunch and knock them out with energy ball in return. Yep. And then I'm in my sack berry range too, exactly. So there we go. Awesome. Exactly what I wanted. You died a surf, dude. <laughs> so great. That sack is there too. Hell yeah, that's Salad Berry Manaphy, baby. And basically, on Lottie, I always have the Bomb Berry. I always have a Bomb Berry on Garchomp, so. Let's tail glow up. As they Thunderbolt me. If they Draco me, which does not even knock me out. Um, well, I mean, it might knock me out, but then I get to go out to Gator and Dragon Dance and win the game, so. If they have Ice Beam, it's a different story, though. Yeah, we just Outrage here. A bomb berry, I eat it. I don't survive. <laughs> Very unfortunate. But, hey, y'all got to see Manaphy basically get it. It stopped me from losing, right? So as long as I don't get paralyzed here, I win the game. Good game. Hey, they didn't even protect on Blaziken. Perfect. So, beautiful. Y'all got to see the Salad Berry come into clutch. Calculated with the light screen, got the earthquake damage off, sacked them on. I'm very happy about that. So now we're going to be using something. We're going to use Xanafi on a team that is uh, that is anti-rain. So as you see, we have um, sub mammo for the switches. We have the uh, well, oh perfect. Well, it's anti Kingdra, but it's not anti Raikou rain. That's for sure. But we had like banded ape on this team. Rain just got banned. Nice. We're demons. And using it. Awesome. So I know I knew Rain was about to get banned, which is why I'm recording this. Hopefully it doesn't get out of here. But look how good my Rotom is versus their team. It's incredible, actually. So um, I know I got to be as many as long as I can. Facts. Now, Rain won't matter for the Salad Berry Manaphy team, which is pretty cool. But uh, have fun. Gonna Willow Wisp here. Any chip on Jirachi is always good for Manaphy. What the hell is the Manaphy set? Okay, Chesto Berry. So I'm even like 
I'm not even, my manager doesn't even care about rain specifically. <sighs> well, that sucks. <laughs> Already starting strong. Luckily, they gave me Mammal Swine after, so I'm gonna, like, I'll, I'll take that. Like, Mammal Swine wasn't the biggest threat, but it's good for Lottie that it's gone. Alright, I'm gonna use my Scizor here. I don't want them scalding into, uh, they can't kill me in one hit, basically. And I get enough damage off on them. <sighs> Man, that mon's annoying, though. I'm gonna Draco with my soul do. Don't you dare. <laughs> okay. Let's see if they scald. They didn't scald immediately, which is great. So I can Ice Shard here for Chip. It doesn't KO, unfortunately. And Scald is gonna knock me out. But... I can safely go Scizor and click Bullet Punch. I'm not looking the greatest versus Manaphy, but at least I didn't lose to Raikou, right? So I got a little, it's a little bit unfortunate that I got, um, were they all already here? 20 minutes away? Oh gosh, okay, no problem. I didn't even shower, no. We can bring out you and start to tail glow up and do our thing, right? That's basically it, I'm calm, so it's time. I'm gonna eat their hit. I'm gonna eat that for sure because I'm calm nature. And I'm plus three, so I knock out Lottie. Things are looking good, guys. I might be faster. Hey, I got the beautiful damage off. Oh my god. And I get to rest up here. This is why I drizzle out Bam, by the way. I'm just a berry, so it actually worked before the hydration, which is very funny. Uh, so we're going to be able to knock them out. And then Manaphy, all I got to do is surf twice to close combat KO. And then Thunderbolt KOs Pelipper. So look at Manaphy putting in work. I never have to click anything besides this. Uh, they choked by clicking that because, yeah, the hydration turns. I can actually tail glow again because if they go Pelipper. Yeah, basically right now, that was 100% win by going for tail glow again because I'll knock out Pelipper. And if they go back out to Manaphy, now I'm strong enough to KO them at the range they're at. So there you go, guys. Got to leave a light for Manaphy. This is why Drizzle got banned. They can't wake up that turn either. Good game. So we got to show off Manaphy, so let's use Rain again. So you guys got to see how I didn't even have Rain on my team, right? And I was able to use Manaphy like that. This is Energy Ball good, I'm better than their Suicune, awesome. But they do have uh, Unaware Cleft potentially, so this is gonna be uh, an annoying one. No problem, let me see if I can finish this. Manaphy everywhere. It just got banned, so who knows how long that lasts. I want rocks up. Yeah. Uh, drizzle. Sorry. Not rain. Um, but yeah. So there's their Garchomp lead. Fantastic Pokemon versus me. We're just going to go Pelipper. Yep. Agreed. Have fun. I'm going to go Pelipper. Get up our rain. If they SD, great play from the beginning, but luckily they just go for that. So we're going to defog as they go for, what, Drawer? I'll take it. <laughs> this is probably the best mod to be put into. We'll throw off a Waterfall here just in case they go Skarm. They could go Suicune too. And now to start using my Mana Fee. Please don't be unaware, Clef. Encore? Encore? Nice. Very nice. Okay, so I definitely want rocks up for sturdy, like I said. Focus Blast isn't going to do much. I'll U-turn here. As opposed to getting up rocks first. I think I go Specs Kingdra. Uh, looks like they might be Shed Shell. We're going to throw off a Hydro Pump here and not predict. 26% ain't bad, dude. Like, if I get a rocks and they don't heal, I'm in a good spot. And what I can do is get up my rocks. Again, them being Shed Shell is so strong for me. Yeah, them, be them being Shed Shell is so strong. So, I doubt they Earthquake here. I think they'll get up rocks themselves. So, I'm going to do Desire. And what I want to do is uh, get in my Pelipper now. Because once I get in Manaphy, I'm in such a good spot. Oh, and they bring me out to Azu, which is so awesome. <laughs> We'll play rough here because I expect them to stay in. Yep. So down goes Garchomp. Awesome. So it means if I defog away rocks, they are gone forever. Alexam is smart to come out 
for sure. Let's see if they go right for Shadow Ball. They side shot. Perfect. We can U turn. Keep up momentum. I think we go Manaphy here. Tail going anyway because I, I, I don't want to attack right into them. I have four turns, right? Yeah, I'm gonna tell go anyway. I don't th I don't know if they go L exam, but ah, okay, I see you. I see you, my friend. Go Manaphy again. Take Energy Ball now, just for the chip. Them being Roar Suicune is annoying. So their their entire team is supposed to shuffle you. Get a Spadef drop on them. That's me bring out Garchomp. Gonna bring back out Manaphy again. Maybe their Roar Rest. As they go Skarm. And we are going to Tail Glow. And now we're going to click Start. Let's see if they are unaware. They are indeed unaware. Yo, I do a lot. Yo, if I get a, if I get a crit on them, it's, yeah. That's it. That's that's the problem with Unaware Clef as an option. That's the problem with Unaware Clef as an option for that. Now that's that's huge. That's huge. But that's like the big deal about using Unaware Clef to deal with Manaphy. It's basically... It doesn't work as an answer. Just gonna go Pelipper and Defog because no rocks up is good for me. I already broke Sturdy, so... That point. Uh, I think I go you and just spam energy ball here. If they phase me out into Kingdra or Garchomp, I get a kill. So. That's fine. I'm assuming they're going to rest. So what I'm going to do is go Azu. And they didn't rest, which is fine, because now I can go into Kingdra and drop a Draco. So. You don't want to allow them to bring out Suicune on a double. Exactly. Now we want Rain. You know what? Let's do Desire first. It's okay about all the hazards. Like, that does not matter for me. I'd rather get up rock so that way they can't bring out their Mon after. So this is beautiful because I can U-turn here. Bring out Pelipper just to get it up. And simply Scald. And again, if Suicune rests, it's not, an, not an issue for me. There's the rest, which means I bring out you. I'm going to surf immediately into potentially Alakazam here. Very good play. Ooh, I'm liking this. Hold up, wait. That was a... Was that a good play here? Because I think I just click Spec Surf now. And 2 KO Blissey. Draco's objectively the better play, I think, actually. Because it kills Skarm, kills Bliss, and it'll kill... This one, let me go for Draco. Yeah, it'll kill Skarm, so that's awesome. Cool. Bring out Pelipper and Defog these spikes up that we don't need, so even if they're phasing me around, bring out Jirachi here. Always go for U-turn. They bring out Suicune, which has not rested at all, and I basically win the game with SD Garchomp. Bring you out as well. Just have rain up, you know. I'm just trying to position myself safely with this mod. Because again, once I go Jirachi, I can U-turn out on Blissey and just click SD. That's what I wanted. SD here. Oh my gosh, this guy is like not bad. <laughs> Which I'm happy about, right? Like, I'm happy to fight someone who's solid, but damn, man, like, let me get this win. <laughs> right, bro, we on the 10th day already. Let me guess some. <laughs> Actually, they have uh, five Encores left, so I'm good. So, yeah, we win now. Should be game. Alexam doesn't have uh, Encore, and that should be it. 56%. Once I kill Suicune, it's a guaranteed wrap. That's the only thing that could beat me. 
Blissey dies. Cool. Can't die to you. And they're not Sash either. Good game. So, uh, yeah. So, obviously, I got the crit Uncle Fable, which was huge. But, like, that's just... That's just what happens, you know? But that's what happens to Pokemon that have to heal. The same reason why I got freaking crit in the first game. So, I could be pissed about it because I wasn't attacking, but... That turn, they were forced to heal, which is why I fished. Oh, shoot. Did I say no? They can't come up? Oh, God. I meant no problem. Whatever, man. But, yeah, as you guys saw... Um, or as you guys have seen... Like, man, if he's good. Right? Manaphy is good. such a cool stall team. Ish. It gets absolutely crushed by Manaphy and Gator. But such a cool team for sure. Alright, so we go Azov. We've got a Rocks here for sure. Get up our light screen and reflect. Miss Magius. That's like a, that's a sick mod as well. It's actually an annoying mod for me. It's really fast. Let's taunt you. <laughs> you stop that right now. Oh. You are Parish Song. That's so cool. Right, so we're going to taunt this as well. Uh, getting Hippo that low is amazing for Blaziken. Just going to boom. And that's also amazing for Manaphy. I feel like Manaphy just wins now. Going to tail glow first. I think Manaphy like legitimately wins, so. We'll just surf because I don't have to predict here. If they want to Paris on me, that's fine too. But yeah, Manaphy looks like it just wins. If I win it, dude, you die. Actually, if you don't die, you actually put me in salad berry range as well. So look, there you go. A nice little Manaphy suite to end it. Alright, we're gonna end the video on that because we got a Manaphy uh, essentially a 6-0. So we're at 1408 on the ladder. <laughs> Which I think is considered high ladder for this. And as you guys saw, yeah, so we are uh, top 50 on the ladder. Nice. We're top 50 on the ladder. We're top 50 on the ladder, which is hella nice. Uh, I hope y'all all enjoyed. Of course, if you um, did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And the cool thing is, guys, you got to see not only Manaphy put in work on Rain, but you saw builds that, like this build, for instance, this hyper offensive build, doesn't even require rain at all to function and it put in work multiple times so of course guys if you did enjoy it make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel as well and uh, of course i will see you guys in the next one that's all i got for ya goodbye my friends